Let's go. Yo, it's Harry. Oh, shit. Can you hear me now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Good? Yeah, I muted my um, my desktop. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, go on. No worries. So, basically, I'm 16. I've got three jobs. Um, I do painting and decorating uh, Monday to Friday, but mm -hmm. I can't get any Saturday shifts. Then, after work on a Friday, I'll go and work in a in a burger bar and then Saturday I'll do the same potentially Sunday if there's any shifts and then my third job ain't really a job but I saw something and I like I'm making money off of it everyone's catting for vapes nowadays so I just decided that if everybody wants them I'm going to be the one that sells them yeah 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 can't yeah, be yeah. classed as a job but it's doing all right so I've been saving for about I mean, a year now making... Even if you're making some money from it, blood, that's better than nothing, man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. And my plan is that when I'm 18, I'm going to get my first property. But I was thinking of getting a one up, one down because I'm from Essex, South End, because they're cheap there. But mm -hmm. I don't know, is this achievable? Am I thinking too big? No. You can never, you can never um, think too big. And sometimes our parents or older family members and that will be like, oh, slow down, man. You're just 16 or 17, 18 years old, man. Just think about buying a property when you're 25. No, think about that today. And this is the reason why a lot of people are 30, 45 years old and that I'm broke because they didn't think like that at your age. So how much are you earning per month, would you say, on average? Would you? How much do you think you're taking in? Out of all the monies and that, forget maybe forget about the vape thing, yeah. But from the two jobs, how much are you earning per month? So I'm an apprentice, I'm getting 45 a day. Um, I'll probably say two grand, maybe, but then I've got other things like rent 260 rent that I've got to take off. Then, like boxing, I do boxing, I've got a fight coming up, which I should fingers crossed get something from that's about 200 a month so i'm probably taking like 600 home maybe a month but the vapes is my biggest thing to be honest wait hold on a minute you said you said that you're 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 generating two grand a month yeah so how yeah. are you only taking home 600 then because i'm talking with the vapes as well oh okay, okay, so okay, okay. without okay. so i get 45 a day because I've got two jobs, I get taxed twenty pound a week, so I'm taking home two oh five a week. Mm. Yeah, that's just the painting. Then that that a month was that two, four, six, so eight hundred and twenty. Then the burger bar, I'll probably get like one fifty a month from. So that's nine fifty. Then two sixty rent, and then boxing is gonna come around to about 350. Would you be interested in like um documenting your journey as a boxer? Like on YouTube, making a TikTok and YouTube channel and Instagram about it? Yeah, I would be, but the thing is like I have no not that I wouldn't want to go pro because obviously like that would be sick, but that's not my goal. Like my coach wants me to do more more sessions and I'm saying like yeah, I would. I want to fight, and I'm gonna fight. But this isn't my goal. Like my goal is to get property. This is this is my hobby. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you can still make money from that because this is the thing. Yeah, remember TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. They're all free. It's free advertising in that. Imagine, yeah, you don't know where that could take you. If you create a YouTube channel, Instagram following or TikTok following that, you don't even know where that could take you. You can make so much money from that. You can forget about doing the, uh, what do you call it? The painting and decorating and all that stuff. It, man. You need to leave your options open. Obviously, you don't want to pursue too much things at the same time because then you never get nothing done. Mm. But there, there's a lot of young youths that want to get into boxing and that. And they will just follow you just for the sake of it. I, I, I think, I think you, should, you, should, you should document your journey, man. That's true. You should, you should document. You have nothing to lose. Think about all that time you spent hours watching other people on TikTok and, and Instagram and that. When you could be filming yourself and having other people watch you. That is true. You've only, you've only got something to gain by making videos. 
you have nothing to lose. You've got more to lose watching me, yeah, to some degree, than filming your own stuff and having man watch you. Yeah, just a sec, yeah, just, just a sec. Yo, mm. K1, yeah, just, just bear with me five minutes, yeah, I'll let you talk, yeah? I'm going to mute you, though, yeah? But big up man like AL1 as well for the, the donation. Respect, brother. But yeah, carry on. Yeah, so with the property thing, I was looking at a one up, one down, but I did hear what you say earlier on. But what was it? My mum was trying to tell me something about the, is it that the plot that it's on? You ain't got to play for the plot because you actually own that property rather than getting a, a flat in a block of flats. You go, I mean, so, so, would you, when you say one up, one down, do you mean like a masonette? Yeah, so like a house that's been converted into two flats. Yeah, so you wanted to buy both of them or you wanted to buy one no. that's in the thing? Yeah, just one for the time being. And then I'll yeah, be you on. Go on. Yeah, so, so, so then you're, you're still just going to be a leaseholder, technically. Yeah. Because you don't own the building. So have, have you physically seen this property? Whether it's listed on Zoopla or right, maybe have you seen no, this not. property or you're just talking is, hypothetically? Yeah, I'm just talking hypothetically. Like, I can't... I, I don't have the money right now and I'm yeah. talking that like when I'm 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you need to be 18 to buy a property anyway. Um, but yeah, so what the thing is, yeah, if you buy one of those sorts of one up, one down sort of property, you know, you're still going to have to pay a service charge. And the reason why you're paying a service charge is because you're a leaseholder. But it's still it's still a good it's still a good investment. It's still better than not getting on the, the property ladder. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't don't worry, because some people, yeah, they get too focused on buying the perfect property. Blood, just buy one property. Mm. If you're truly ambitious, that's going to be the first out of ten or fifteen. So don't worry about buying the perfect property or whatever. In it. You're not going to lose by buying a property. I promise you. It's only going to go up in value. And realistically, what do you think I need saved to get a deposit down? Ten percent of that property. So for a first time, what do you? Yeah, because what 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 I, what I'd probably recommend, yeah, in your situation, yeah, buy a property as a first time buyer and rent out a room to like a lodger. But obviously, you'd need to buy a flat. If you're gonna buy a flat, you need to buy a flat where the bedroom is separate from the living room and separate from the kitchen. So therefore, you can have the bedroom to yourself, or you can have the living room to yourself have the bedroom to your lodger and the kitchen is separate. Because if one, if you have to walk through one room to get to another, it's called an inner room. That means that a man's going to be walking through your bedroom to get to the kitchen or you're walking yeah. through a man's bedroom to get to the kitchen. That, don't, yeah, that ain't yeah, going to yeah. work. So, so there, there's plenty of flats that fit that criteria where the bedroom is separate from the living room and they're both separate from the kitchen. But don't get one where it's like a bedroom and then an open plan living room and kitchen. Because then you cannot convert that into a bedroom. Obviously, I've seen programs where man man sleeping in the living room and that, and people are walking through. Forget that. That's that's nonsense. Mm -hmm. You're doing that, yeah. So, yeah, just, just always check the floor plans. Whenever I'm buying a property, I always check the floor plans. Always. I don't. I don't want no sort of even like, let's say a house where the bathroom is downstairs. I don't even like that. But I don't really hurt you. But. You don't want a property where you have to walk through one room to get to another. No. Nah. Right. Never. Never. Yeah, never. I get that. Unless it's an ensuite. But then right. even then, if it's an ensuite, then there needs to be a separate bathroom as well. Mm. So, because that means that someone, if, imagine like, I don't even know if there's any properties that actually like that, where there's just an ensuite, but no separate bathroom. Uh, I've never seen that before. So, so what, uh, what do you think, like, realistically what i should have as my set goal to get my first property by 18 what should i have saved so look at the properties in your area let's say you want to go for a one bed flat yeah let's say a one bed flat is 200 grand in essex uh in south end then you need 20 you need 20 grand minimum you need a 10 percent deposit yeah and then you need money for legal fees and that as well now you might be able to get away with putting down a five percent deposit you might even be able to get away with doing a zero deposit scheme and that but typically just aim for ten percent all right cool yeah all right yeah. i'm gonna let you go now yeah because i need to get other people on yeah all right thank you have a good night yeah, yeah. all right respect man